Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is another Sunday, another day of worship. We thank God for being alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Our Bible reading today is taken from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 13 from verse 1 to 23. Matthew 13, 1 to 23. And our topic is a question. Are you a fruitful ground? Are you a fruitful ground? The answer should come from you. Hallelujah. Amen. The passage today tells us about the parable of the sower, which our Lord Jesus Christ told to a large crowd of people who gathered to listen to him. In the parable, we saw that the seeds fell on four different types of grounds. One was by the roadside. The second was a rocky ground. The third was a ground full of thorns, while the fourth one was the good ground. These grounds received the seeds, but only the fourth ground, which is the good soil, produced fruits. It was the good soil that was fruitful. When our master gave the interpretation of these grounds, it became easier for people to know if they were fruitful ground or not. If you hear the word of God and you don't understand it, you are like the seeds that fell by the roadside. If you hear God's word and you allow troubles, you allow persecutions, trials, challenges, not to allow you to enjoy the benefits you are like the seed on rocky ground. But if you hear the word of God and you are making progress in your work with God, only to allow the cares and the riches of this world to choke you, then you are like the seed that fell among the thorns. You are a good ground if you hear the word of God and it produces fruits of peace. It produces fruits of joy, fruits of righteousness around you. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, which type of ground are you? You are the one to answer this question. Has the cares of this world or tribulations affected your Christian journey in negative ways? We must cherish the word of God. We must guard it seriously and we must make it fruitful. Hallelujah. Amen. It is only then that we can be fruitful and useful to God. When you allow the word of God to guide you, to make it fruitful in your life, that is when you can be fruitful and useful to your God. I pray that the God's words will make meaning in our lives and it will produce fruits in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember the topic, are you a fruitful ground? And this is a question that only you can answer. If you are a fruitful ground, it means that the word of God that you are hearing every day is producing results, is producing things, good things around you. It makes you to live a good life. It makes you to know when to say yes and when to say no. A child of God should know, must know when to say yes and when to say no. May God give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy Sunday, and I wish you a lovely week ahead. You are highly blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.